Hello, it's Tune In Tuesday, and today I want to talk about prosperity because there is a lot of talk in the world right now about inflation and recession. And even while our unemployment rates are really low in the United States, there's still a fair amount of collective, you know, what I would call fear mongering about um, resources and even in health. Obviously, we've been in a big um, cycle of um, media oriented fear based health discussions. And that's one area of prosperity. To me, prosperity means not just having the resources um, to create the life you want, but it also means having the health, having the relationships, having the time. And I think what we fail to um, acknowledge um, in a lot of businesses in the United States is that people really actually value time, health, <laughs> and relationships. And so much of our orientation in the world of how you make an income is based on valuing money and things. So as we dance through this time where our world is contracting, things are getting more expensive, money looks like it's going not as far, I just invite you to use your energy tools and reflect on what prosperity means to you. Like really, what do you value and what does it mean to you? What do you really want to see as a prosperous life? Maybe it's time with your family and friends. Maybe it's taking a vacation or traveling somewhere. Maybe it's just having time to do nothing. <laughs> um, maybe it's connecting with people. Maybe it's doing some creative passion. Um, and there's always the component of money, how we exchange energy, right? Um, I always see that solar plexus is where we take our creative energy from the second chakra and our um, intuitive awareness and what we want to create. They join forces in the solar plexus to come out into the world as we exchange our energy and time for resources. So facing this time where there's a lot of um, uncertainties or different ones or new ones than we've had in the past, I just invite you to use your energy consciousness to really choose, make a choice about how you want to relate to that information. And um, as I will be leading my folks through tonight in Empath Strength Training, the people that are members of that practice group, I invite you to visualize or imagine that collective fear around recession and inflation and not enough and health fears and all of that that can get in your way, way of feeling that you're prosperous. Just imagine it out, that it moves out of your energy field, out of your aura, out of your body, out of your mind and, and into a rose, my favorite symbol. And when you look at that rose, you're like, I'm just lovingly sending everything that doesn't work for me into it. And that rose is such a beautiful high frequency energy. And then when you're done moving it all out of your space, the collective fear, the limitations, the stories, um, take that rose, toss it away, and imagine it just dissolving so that you can have your truth, your space, and your vision about what prosperity means to you and keep calling that into your life.